This video is gonna be a little crazy. First of all, who thought that this was a good idea? A Chinese drama titled Justice in the Dark broadcasted a scene with one of the characters scrolling through a catalog of quote-unquote sex workers that included this photo. For those who don't recognize it right away, they use this picture of Rosé that she originally posted on her Instagram. Obviously, this garnered a lot of backlash to the point where the scene was silently removed. However, the lack of explanation angered people even more, resulting in the art and design team coming out to apologize to Rosé, her fans, the production company, the broadcast station, and viewers for their negligence. They stated that their careless actions negatively impacted Miss Park Chae Young's image and reputation and will make sure to not let something like this happen again. The team is also trying to actively reach out to Rosé herself. But that scene wasn't the only thing taken down this week as La Seraphim Yunjin's Weaver's post caught some negative attention as well. An account utilizing soccer or football player Messi's name and picture posted quote, if you comment, I'll stop playing soccer. Yoon Jin actually commented on the post with a, I should have replied a few months earlier. Of course, referencing Argentina's World Cup victory led by Messi himself. Now, while many pointed out that her comment was obviously not serious to an account that nobody thought was real even for a second, others criticized her for making the comment anyway as it was received by them as unnecessary and disrespectful. It seems the reaction to her comment got to the point where Yoon Jin has now deleted it. As of right now, she hasn't said anything more about it, but BTS's RM did answer a question about the blemish seen on his neck. During a Weverse Live, fans noticed something on RM's neck and apparently started pointing it out in the chat assuming it was a hickey. RM seemed to have either noticed the chat or that his neck was being shown, to which people then allege that he starts trying to hide it. Regardless, RM eventually acknowledges the questions anyway, explaining, Oh, I put on my neck? Oh, I just... I got a little hurt, you know, while I do some, like, round of things like CrossFit. <laughs> Now, even though he said it was a bruise he got from doing CrossFit, many fans still debated the validity of that after the stream, to the point where Hickey was now trending. Finally, of course, we have further developments regarding the SM Entertainment situation. Just a reminder, it would be extremely difficult to dive into every single detail of what's happening, so I'm just going to update the outline of what's taking place, continuing what we've already discussed in the previous two videos, so that it's easier to at least understand the overall picture. After co-CEO and Isuman's nephew Chris Lee's initial video exposing his uncle's illegal business dealings and alleged ruining of Espa, Hybe then responded, basically saying that SM must show effort to resolve the internal problems and that the directors need to review if they need to take responsibility for any of these accusations. Dispatch then inserted themselves into the mix, releasing over 100 alleged facts, exposing the unethical profits Suman has earned through embezzlement and manipulative contracts over the past two decades and that he was listed as a wanted criminal on Interpol for these fraudulent actions. While Dispatch was releasing their report, Bang Shi Hyuk was in the US meeting with the head of Kakao to discuss the SM acquisition, but reportedly no settlement was reached. This is when a collective statement from not everyone, but 208 of SM's employees came out supporting the co-CEOs and their plans for SM 3.0 while opposing Hype's takeover. Co-CEO Chris Lee once again put out a video with English subtitles, this time respectfully addressing his uncle as teacher, pleading with him to stop and just ask for forgiveness. Chris also calls out Hype for attempting to monopolize the industry and erase SM Entertainment, concluding the video by saying at the end of the shareholders meeting in March, he'll resign as CEO and will simply serve as an employee in the music department once again. SM Entertainment then published another video with their CFO this time, explaining the reasons why Hype's acquisition will be harmful to their artists, their communication platforms, and any new business opportunities. Regardless, the CEO of HYBE has now written an open letter sharing that HYBE has completed the 14.8% acquisition of SM and is officially the single largest shareholder detailing their corporate philosophy going forward. However, I have a feeling this is far from over. But before, I don't know, JYP gets into the mix, let's hurry and talk about the positive things that we can celebrate in K-pop.
YG just confirmed that Jisoo's solo music video is currently being shot overseas with strict secrecy and will have the largest production cost among Blackpink videos. BTS's Jimin's solo debut was also confirmed with his upcoming album Face. Among all the cool music announced for the near future, we also had some very anticipated comebacks take place since the last video, including former AOA member Jimin's return to the music industry. And speaking of comebacks, for the first time in two years, years, former April member Naeun has finally updated her Instagram, foreshadowing her comeback to entertainment as an actress that was announced by her new company earlier this year. For those who need a quick reminder, Naeun was completely cleared of bullying accusations after the accuser submitted an apology letter admitting that the allegations were all fabricated. How has it already been a year since Endix have debuted? Also congrats to Tribe and Kingdom on their second anniversary, Astro already hitting the 7 year mark and Davici who are celebrating their 15th. And of course, the newly appointed honorary ambassadors of Seoul prove why they were given that honor as their debut album has now exceeded 1 million sales, not only their second album to do so, but the first group to accomplish this since 1997. I don't know what's crazier. The milestones that Nugene keeps accomplishing, the SM Entertainment acquisition, or AI virtual K-pop idols addressing dating rumors. Super Superkind is a group that will have 10, eventually consisting of 5 real members and 5 AI virtual members. Well, a video was recently released of AI member Sung reacting to girl group Mave. See, Mave is a girl group with all virtual members that perform on music shows and everything. The comments of the video joked about dating scandals and bringing novice into the conversation, to which they played along with, releasing a video of Sung responding to those dating scandal comments. I'm including this because I would love to know your thoughts on any aspect of this because I have no idea what has <laughs> happened there. What's happened, Chris? Uh, I don't know, Jim. <laughs> <laughs> I told you this was going to be crazy. Could you put this water bottle down for me? Sweet mother of...